here's our next question. This person writes, can you share an example of where you thought you heard from the Holy Spirit, but in the discernment process, it burned up in the furnace of the Beatitudes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, so for, <laughs> well, this one was, was quite easy, actually. I will have, sometimes when I'm a guest speaker, people will, I, I think there's something fleshly about wanting to prophesy over the guest speaker as sort of an ego thing, and they're like, and the I Lord won't do that today, to Brian, you, I promise. <laughs> yeah, the Lord says to you, you know, I have made the nations your inheritance and you're going to be the leader of nations. And I'm like, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> um, that sounds super grandiose. You mean like leader of nations? You mean I'll be a prime minister and a president? And, and, um, and, but it's, it's grandiose and that, that just gets fried away, right? Um, mm. And that's, that's more of a silly one. Like I can't bear, I, I'm not even popular on my cul-de-sac. What do you mean lead nation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, um, and then an, a, a closer to home version of that would be, let's say I'm feeling this deep conviction in my heart that I need to take a stand against this thing or that mm. thing. And then I'm gonna attach um, sort of God's voice to that. The Lord told me I'm supposed to, the Lord told me I'm supposed to. Hmm. Blessed are the meek, they will inherit the kingdom of the earth. Uh, blessed are the merciful. Blessed are that meek. That meek word's a big one for me right now because it's, if you translate it this way, blessed are the gentle. Yeah. Um, so suddenly, I, you know, people attach anger and standing against and being loud and bold and snarky with being prophetic. And I'm like, that's sure not how the Beatitudes play it out. Yeah. So I, I, I feel like when I get, when I start having an adrenaline rush, I associate with the anointing. I just do the Beatitudes, my daily prayer, and it dials me down a little bit. Mm -hmm.